obviously Dom's overcome his crisis of confidence for 180 minutes and now he's... Uh, what do you make of your team's attitude and the football from the first minute? Yeah, no, um, lads are outstanding. Uh, I uh, thought we uh, showed real sort of um, belief and conviction in, in our football today and uh, really aggressive in everything, uh, aggressive without the ball, aggressive with the ball, really positive in, in sort of our intent and uh, yeah, fantastic all around performance. Do you come away from that game brilliant performance but wondering how you only won three now? Uh, no, I mean, you know, it's a, I guess sometimes it's, it's it's just the nature of football. Um, yeah, we did we did have some some fantastic chances that we probably should have put away. But you know, the pleasing thing for me was that you know that I just got a sense that the players weren't dwelling on it. You know, they were kind of just focused. Okay, let's go again and create another one. And I think that's when it can become slightly. Um, you know, frustrating if, if we're kind of dwelling on, you know, or second-guessing ourselves. I think we had a little bit of that in sort of the first two or three games of the season where we missed a lot of chances and it just felt like we were getting more and more sort of desperate with every missed chance, whereas uh, there's a real calmness about the lads today that, OK, we missed one, let's go again and create another one. Did you feel like you turned the corner there, actually? You've been saying for a while, you've seen a huge win from three from the front three getting there. Yeah, there's definitely. I mean, it helps that, you know, Obviously, Dom's overcome his crisis of confidence for 180 minutes, and now he's uh, and and now he's you know back to sort of some sort of fitness, and he's leading the line really well, and uh, you know Brennan, and but but just in general, I think the team, like I said, it it just felt in the first sort of because it, as I keep saying, I thought we played really well, you know, at Leicester we played well at Newcastle, really well at Newcastle. We played well against Arsenal, but we just, you know, we missed chances and it felt like there was a desperation about us trying to get another one, whereas, you know, um, probably last sort of three games this week, we just had a real calmness about us. And I think it's helped that, you know, we've got a focal point in, in Dom up there who's, um, he's just a real presence, you know, and he attracts attention. He, he kind of takes attention from other players and, um, you know, just works really well in our unit. Since, since the first 10 games of our season, your away record's not, not been brilliant. Um, this is the first ever away winner of a big six. Do you feel like that's a significant set um, No, not really. I mean, uh, I know people, you know, are still not convinced, uh, but like I said, I, I just keep relying on what I see and what I believe in in terms of the kind of football we want to play. And, you know, with when we're kind of um, not affected too much by uh, disruption and, and injuries um, as we were last year, I still think home or away, we're, we're a good football team. And you say people are still not convinced, but you don't think that's a statement when the way you play the scoreline doing it all? <laughs> I've got no idea, mate. I'm, I'm befuddled by the whole process. So uh, I guess people don't see what I see, which is it's fair enough. I mean, everyone's got their own sort of view on things, but... Like I said, I, I don't think there's been a game this year in the Premier League. Um, I mean, if you've really watched us, and I, I, I suspect a lot of people don't watch, um, where we've been outplayed or we've, you know, looked all at sea, it's just that we haven't sort of killed off games like we should have. Um, obviously, like I said, you know, we've got Dom in the team now. He's, he's finding some fitness and form and, um, you know, Brennan, but even guys like Matters now and, and Decky are, are really giving us some, some real edge in that front yeah. third. and um, But, you know, um, for us, nothing changes. we just got to keep doing what we're doing. We've still got a lot of improvement to do in many areas, but um, the good thing is about the group is they want to keep improving. And what's it like to have a defender like Mickey Vander who one minute can be at the back and then can be superb and the next minute can be up with the second Yeah, look, he's an outstanding player. Um, Again, you know, I think we've brought some decent footballers to the club. Uh, congratulations, Andy. Um, just wanted to ask you about Madison and Pulisic. Why does that combination seem to complement each other so well? Because I think they're both really good, intelligent footballers. Uh, the way we play um, suits their, their kind of characteristics because, you know, Madison does so much damage with the ball and 
and Decky does so much damage with his running that it's a good balance for us in that uh, in, in that attacking third. And they also had to show good discipline today because we knew, we knew that you know the one threat that uh, you know the main threat the sort of Man United have is on the transition. You know they're they're pretty lethal um, with the front guys they've got. So you know we really wanted to make sure we kind of locked them in today. And that was you know the full backs and, and particularly Matters and Decky to be really disciplined in their in their football. And um, yeah, look they they're, they're both sort of. They're both going really well and working really hard and improving. Um, Sonny was out with the injury today. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think he'll be fit for midweek or for any game? Uh, we'll see. Um, you know, obviously it wasn't it was a quick turnaround today, so we'll assess it when we go back, uh, get back down to London. But um, you know, um, we'll see how he is. Um, yes, you know. Okay. Yeah, it was okay. I mean, I, okay, he felt something in his quad, but he obviously finished the half. But we just thought at half time, no point. Um, you know. We, Again, you know, we, we, we're kind of got to be careful uh, about how much we push our players. Obviously, Destiny had to come on pretty early on uh, Thursday night. It wasn't the plan. And also, Mickey played probably more than we wanted him to. So with those kind of things, we just got to be really careful. So, um, And Jed did really well when he came on. So, um, yeah, I thought uh, it was just wise to take him off, but we'll see how it goes.